This morning on The Dish, a journey to the fabled city of Venice for a feast aboard a sailboat that's the last of its kind. Chef and Captain Moro Stappa prepares exquisite dishes for his passengers that take their inspiration and ingredients from the surrounding wetlands and islands. Chris Livesay takes us along on this culinary adventure. Venice, as Truman Capote once said, is like eating an entire box of chocolate liqueurs in one go. A sugar rush for the millions who devour its beauty and its food without stopping to smell the roses. Which is why Mauro Stoppa, one part sailor, one part culinary evangelist, is on a quest to preach the cuisine of Venice by leaving Venice. That pirate ship with the cuddly crew and crimson sails is actually his escape pod, a last of its kind flat bottom sailboat transformed into fine dining, customized for five course meals as it glides visitors far beyond the gondolas and deep into the Venetian lagoon. And what is it about the lagoon that you love so much? The quiet of the lagoon, you must be relaxed if you are staying here. It is not possible to be in a hurry. It's home to 200 square miles of placid wetland, the largest in Europe, with more than 100 islands, some straight out of a coloring book, others bearing sunken ruins from ancient Rome in the Middle Ages. The lagoon is also a fertile breeding ground for fish. And no one gets it fresher than Mauro. He even grows the herbs and vegetables himself on the island where he docks his boat. And while he may look like Chef Boyardee, you won't find anything out of a can. And it's all from right here in the lagoon. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is the way I am try to work, taking what is possible to have uh, from of vegetables and fish from the lagoon. Today, that means wild sea bream with extra virgin olive oil, basil, and lime. Oh, it's raw. raw, raw, raw. So this is yeah. like Venetian sushi. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> <laughs> then, raw cuttlefish, marinated in lemon juice with porcini mushrooms, eggplant nests with sautéed shrimp, wild sea bass with sweet potatoes and pears. Even the wine is tinged with the Adriatic. And this is growing uh, in um, over in the hill that is facing the sea, so it is salty. And nothing, not even the garnish, is for show. This herbs is um, it's called uh, wild fennel that is growing on the dry area of, of the lagoon and it's uh, full of uh, C vitamin. Vitamin C? Yep, it's like full, it's full of taste. This is also something that is not in use, but in the past it was very, very, very common. I think a lot of people think of Italian food as being meaty and cheesy and carby with pasta and lasagna. There's none of that here. The ingredients are so simple, but the taste, the flavor is extremely rich. If you have good ingredients, it's That's not, all you need. It's not, 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 not trouble. <laughs> if you have bad ingredients, you have to create something to <laughs> distract. <laughs> to cover it up, yeah. yeah. Mauro's is a quixotic mission, carrying on the traditions and food of Venice as the city quickly forgets them. Luigi Divari, the fisherman who caught our lunch, is one of a dying breed, he says. Today, there are only seven fish stands left at the Rialto market in Venice. When I was a boy, there were 28. Soon, it will have to shut down because all of the vendors are about to retire. Which is what makes Mauro and his boat so precious, a floating time capsule that never forgets dessert. Okay, I'm going in. Today, it's the last figs of the season. Uh, we have used um, the lime, orange juice, uh -huh. and, and the skin of the orange. Okay, great. All right. Should I just pop the whole thing in my mouth? Yep. Okay. Nice. I'm happy. <laughs> if you were to take this meal and transported inside a restaurant in Venice or anywhere in the world, you wouldn't get no, the same No, no, no. It, it, is, it, it is the lagoon that offered this. This is a really an, an ingredient. 
of, of the experience, the basic, basic ingredients. Viva. To the lagoon. Mm -hmm. To the lagoon. And this beautiful day. A basic ingredient for a good meal and a way of life. For CBS Saturday Morning, Chris Livesay, Venice. It looks horrible. I mean, it's not, <laughs> it's not scenic at all. So the food looks bad. Yeah. I mean, those dogs are living their best life. The double A Baxter from Anchorman. <laughs> they look like it, right? Gorgeous. Dog. Is there any Gorgeous such place. thing as someone having a moment on the dish where they're like, "Yeah, true, yeah, actually, not so right? Good. Yeah, it all looks <laughs> not allowed." Good, we put good food on the dish. Yes.